in segment six here, Q and A. So, what questions do you have? Things that you're learning. So going back to my biggest challenge is bring that out again, and then the solution to taking action. What did you learn? What did you learn? And it could be, it could be in segment one. It could be in the speed network. It could be in the winds from somebody else's winds. It could be in the personalities. Don did just a great job on that. Or the 530 grid. Edward did a great job on that. Melissa did a great job on DNA for, for people, the natural laws. So you need to come up with one thing, yes. Um, I would say probably the 530 grid uh, opened up my eyes a little bit. I need to go over my system that I'm using right now and figure out where it's lacking or where, uh, where, where my clients or prospects are falling off okay. and analyze that and then try to figure out a way to either collaborate with my group to fix that or maybe to start trying different things in that area that's failing until that picks up or starts progressing. Awesome. That's like a, like a super 7 degree black belt ninja move in the 5 degree. So you take, <laughs> seriously, you take, you take box 13, box 13, research why the things are, feed it back into box 12, take box 12, feed it back into box 2 and 5 and 4 and 8. You bring all those things together, you blend those things together, it'll be amazing, yes. A lot of times, especially with salespeople, when somebody says, no, I don't want to buy this, they take it as no, and what the people aren't really telling you is, I want to do it, but just not right now. So they don't have a follow-up system or anything like that. And they blow a lot of sales because a no is, most of the time, is not no. It's not, it's just not now. Cool. And that's where the 530 grid system can help you. You'll get those people back if you do it. Do I this. actually just experienced that, Ed. I, there was a FISBO. Uh, actually right down the street, uh, for sale by owner, in case anyone doesn't know, uh, right down the street from our office, I was prospecting and I was going to talk to him like every other week, every third week, I would stop in. Um, and then the most recent time, uh, this week I went and visited him, he's like, oh, I sold my house. Go, How much did you sell it for? He's like, 150. I believe I could have got him easily 180 for it, 180 or even more. So he could have paid me 20 grand in commissions and still made out ahead. But you know, there was like I get all excited. Like this, I mean, I'm like, I'm shaking. That is like the most genius story. See, people think of a success story, box 12, of a success story, but that's a bigger success story. That's a huge success story. Just massive. Because if John takes that, captures that, puts that into a process, and say, you know, there's, you know, individual A, Joe, you know, Joe went ahead and had this, and he shares that. He takes that story, feeds that back up into box two, box three, box five, box four, blends us into what's called the golden triangle. Uh, we meet on uh, Tuesdays at 6.30. What restaurant? Nickery's. What is it? Nickery's. Nickery's uh, on 31. 31. And so 6.30 in the morning, okay? So you're invited. You can bring other people to it. Every, every Tuesday morning. So it takes this and it drills down deeper into it. What do I need to do? I mean, understanding this is fairly easy. It's not, it's not brain surgery. It's not rocket science. But the ability to have the disciplines to go through it, you got to do it with other people. You cannot do it on your own. You have to have other people involved. Okay, other questions? Yes. Well, i just go a little deeper on that. So I saw that as a failure, right? I saw that as something that I didn't accomplish or that I didn't do right. But you're saying that I could use that actually as a success. Oh, it's, it's that, better than you getting. That's a bigger success than it is a failure. Right. It is. It's like what Melissa said where, you know, he three feet from goal. I mean, he could have said, oh, I'm a loser. I've just lost an opportunity. How many times do you have those opportunities? But he would. what he did is he took the experience. It's like Tony Robbins. I, I remember going to one of his events, and he had a partner that went ahead and stole $3 million. <coughs> And he could have been bitter, angry, and upset, all of this. But what he did is he's like, I'm going to turn that into a system. I'm going to turn that into a system, and I'm going to make more money as a result of that experience. And so you'll make a 100 times, a 1,000 times the amount of money from that experience if you know 
how to do it. So you have to know how to think in a different way. You have to then have the knowledge base to put that together. And then you have to have the disciplines. Got Make it. sense? Got it. Excellent. You Other know, questions? You, you will, especially with salespeople, you'll never realize that you don't want to talk too much until you've got a sale made and you talk too much and you blow the sale. And that will help you more by blowing that one sale early in life than it will later on. Because once you have that sale and you blow it, if you learn from it. If you, yeah, if you learn from it. And you can learn from it based on the personalities. So which, which personality is going to tend to go ahead and blow the sale based on talking too much? Expressive. Expressive and the Bible. analytic. Oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the expressive will get so excited and it's like, just close. I can't close the sale. I'm just too excited. I mean, I've got to get them more excited. And so it's, no, close the set. Close it now. Nail it. Well, no, they need to know. They don't need to know they're ready to close. The analytic has the opposite. And it's like, well, oh, I have to explain this. They, they don't understand. They don't need to understand it. Close it. Close it. No, no, no. They, they need to understand. So they talk themselves out of sales all the time. Uh, the driver, okay, the driver's challenge in sales is going to be that they don't connect pe well enough with the people. So they close it too quickly. So these two will close sales too quickly. These two will close sales too slow. So the driver personality will close it too quickly. So they have to have discipline to wait a lot longer. If the analytic or the amiable waits, They've waited too long. Because by the time, I mean, they, you can close stuff so much faster. The amiables, they're like, well, I don't like to really, I don't like to really push people, and I don't like to really be pushed, and so, I don't know. Oh, my, what shall we do? And so it's like, gosh, oh, do you want to do this or not? Do you want to do this? <laughs> and so it's like, it's like, so these two will tend to be very, in sales management and leadership, these two will tend to die because they don't move fast enough. What's interesting is these two will tend to start out quickly. They're making mistakes that everybody knows. These two will make mistakes, but nobody knows they make the mistake. And if you don't make, if you, it's easier to change direction of a moving car than one that's standing still. Yes. Sorry, I know I'm being chatty Kathy today, but... You know, if they want to jump in and interrupt, let them jump in and interrupt. Right? Otherwise, right. if you don't talk, I will. So somebody better. Go yeah, ahead. so very specific question to a couple things that just happened to me. Uh, so I'm mainly driver, uh, personality first, right? Um, I had two people in the last, last month say that they wanted to get started with Renatus. And I was like, great, now let's do it. I know what happened. They did get started. Right. Yeah. Right, because what will happen is when you go ahead, there's a high statistical probability that they're an amiable personality. When a driver goes ahead and closes an amiable, the amiable says yes. But then they get home and they're like, oh, I don't know. They don't. They won't call you. They'll, they'll say, I'm going to call at a time when you can't talk because I don't want to talk. So I'm going to leave a message or I'm going to text them or something. Else. And so what you got to do is the amiable. It, it's got when they say yes, you got to say no, you got to back away from the sale. You got to back away. I'm telling you. It's a science and it's discipline. You say, now, are, 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 are you sure? I mean, because I don't want to push. And, and it's like totally counterintuitive to both the expressive and the driver. The t driver and the expressive will not do that unless they're trained and they're disciplined. You have to be trained and disciplined. So you have to back away from the sale and give some room. And if you don't back away from the sale and give some room, you're going to pressure them. They're going to say yes but then they're going to flip on you and go, no. It's like, sub, like subconsciously they're taunting and testing you to see if you really care about them because they're like, I don't know, they're very persuasive. I think they like me and they care for me. So I'm going to say yes, but if they take me up on the yes, then I'm going to know that they're just trying to take advantage of me. I don't know, it's weird. So there's an absolute science in this. Okay, so what's in store, you know, what's in store for for next month, all right. Um, 
So next month we're going to be talking about developing profitable mastermind groups. So you get your own systems in place. When you get the boss system in place for your business, no matter what business it is, it doesn't matter what it is, when you get that in place, you become a very, very, very attractive, profitable partner. Because you have something that most companies don't have. You have a system. And when you combine your system with other systems, it's like Transformers. Anybody see Transformers? <coughs> okay. You know, three boys, I've got a number of girls that like that too, so I've seen it. So it's the Transformers. It's coming together where you're combining your power, your network, the connection of what we have, and together we truly can accomplish so much more than we ever could on our own. Make sense?